welcome everyone to another episode of Victoria 2 Heart of Darkness The Apocalypse Mod with USA and Zombies <laughs> So guys we are back here in this episode of Awesomeness where we did a couple things last episode So let me recap One, we did a whole entire spiel about Spiel about protecting the USCA because if they fall, we fall. I basically said that in almost any way, shape, or form possible. If these guys were to fall, we were to fall, and that would not be good. So I've sent troops over here to guard the line and hold the line. We're basically going to hold the line. In fact, I don't even feel comfortable with just 24 men right here. I think I'm going to go send this army down there too. Um, Because I can build about a couple more ships now. So, I mean, not ships, men. So, you know, let's do that right now. Let's build three men, uh, three of these. Uh, well, let's see, do that, and then build one of those. Okay, I may not be the most perfect army, but it's the best army we got. And, um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Uh, we can also lower tariffs just a little bit. And, yeah, what else? What else? Oh, yeah, this is a pretty important event from last episode. Um, we completely abolished slavery! <laughs> As you guys know, this is, if whoever's taking AP World US history, you guys know slavery is a big debate and a big gigantic thing that led to a civil war in our entire country. And yes, it was, it was the slavery, I'm just, it was slavery that led to that event, but it was the event you can check almost all historians they agree to. So anyways, um, it was amazing to me that we could actually, okay, I'm going to stop supporting over here because this is actually doing pretty well. Um... But anyways, it's quite amazing to me that we actually abolished it without any bloodshed and without any uprising and not and without anything. We did it without anything. No problems whatsoever. That is amazing. And let's begin the game. I would go on about a big gigantic spiel about, you know, the goodness and integrity of people and how my administration did much better than the actual administrations of the time. But let's just get actually into the game because I just want to play. <laughs> Honestly. Alright, and we have a couple money issue problems. Seems like my middle class is doing a little bit staggeredly poor, I guess. I guess is the word I'm supposed to use. And let's get you guys on here. No, not Rebel Hunt. I want you guys to go right here. And I'm going to go lock you guys right there. And so then I'll have two armies right here in, in USCA to help protect against anything that might go wrong. Because I... As we learned through our... As we learned through many campaigns, if... We could definitely hold back the zombie apocalypse, but we have to hold the line. We have to. It's just, if we fall, then the rest of the world falls. And also, I'm going to close this can factory because... No, close the can factory because it's not really helping us. And there's no point in keeping a can factory around if it's not helping. And my investors are being uh, investing into stupid things. And now I got the rest of this covered up. And let me see, can I even build forts over here? No, I can build railroads, but I can't build forts. That kind of stinks. And there's a zombies. What? Zombies spawned in my land? Huh? Why is it just a random horde right there in the middle of Texas? No less in Texas. I. Okay. Um. Once my new troops are made, I guess I'll go send them after the the random zombie horde in Texas. Okay. Um. And. Okay, seems like we got some more straggler zombies coming in right now. Um, doesn't look too big. Yeah, just three thousands right now. That that's nothing. We can easily deal with th three thousands. All right, uh, three thousands. Yeah, seems like though it does seem like they're all moving in now. I'm, I'm a little bit worried because they might have big gigantic cords in the backgrounds, which we don't know about yet, and that could be really scary. Um, I am protecting these guys' borders with the utmost passion, so they better thank me later. Maybe do a statue in my honor. That would be pretty nice. You know, a statue in my honor looking into my likeness. That would be pretty nice if they would do that over here. Because I'm sending my own hard-earned troops to protect these guys. While also inadvertently protecting myself, but we don't have to mention that to them. Uh, it's mutu let's just say it's mutually beneficial that we protect your guys' lands as we protect ours. Okay. And I'm moving my troops into Jacksonville. No, it's just Jackson. That's just Jackson. Jacksonville's somewhere over here. And we're just going to go stomp out that little tiny horde because I just don't feel comfortable with zombies right on our borders. Or even in our borders. That just, it does feel wrong. Just saying that right now. It does feel wrong. So you guys, with this tiny little army, go crush them. Over here. Oh my goodness. Go send in men. Go send in our men. Go send in our men. Ha! Take that, you zombie horde. I have more men than you. Ha 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 ha. And, 
Okay, that may have possibly been the biggest threat we've dealt with in this game so far. That quite possibly would have been the biggest and most dangerous that we've dealt with so far. Um, ammunition factory we can support and a paper mill factory we can support. Because we do need both of those things. Mecha is very built for that kind of stuff and they keep attacking my weaker, my weaker, uh, people, but... Okay, they're gonna send in more men, so I'm gonna go send in more men of my own to help crush these guys, okay. And, oh my goodness, that ended up being an even battle. That is not good. Keep, kill them. Kill them quickly before they all, like, oh no, there's more coming in. This is not good. This is not good. Okay, okay. Now we got the pawn stick. I've learned, I've learned from my, uh, oh, indie, um, Italian campaign that this becomes really bad really quick if you do not crush all these little tiny hordes. Okay, and it seems like they're sending in more men, so I'm going to go send in more men to myself. That way I have about two armies right there staging off and I have Wyoming Wyoming can be protected now Woohoo! where's Wyoming there's Wyoming all right yay Wyoming is now a state so now we can start with the research and I'm gonna go into culture with ideological thought so we can then get states and governments so then we can just start colonizing everything once the world ends okay I'm sending my 41k army to go stomp out this little rebellion right here there we go okay that was excellent stomping out now we're just gonna go send him right here yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna keep we're just gonna keep them together for right now. Just keep stomping out these armies of evilness. Oh shoot! And now here comes an even bigger one with 53 men. Oh my goodness! Could I destroy that in time? Not sure. Um, Russell is a pretty good attacker, but I'm not sure how good he would be. Let's see. Do you have anyone better? Probably not. I'm guessing probably not. We do not have anyone better. Um. We're gonna have to risk it, because if that horde groups up... Oh, never mind. Never mind. If we would attack right now, we would lose, so... Oh my gosh, if we keep them in the land, then they'll be... Then this will start spawning lots and lots of rebels, or lots and lots of zombies, which is something we don't want. Oh gosh, this is, this is a really hard decision, guys. <laughs> we have zombies coming into our land. This is not good, and... Seems like the, uh, zombie land... Seems like the zo Seems like some of the, like, revolted land is starting to become zombie land. That's good. That means that. Oh, and, and the zombies go in and go conquer Zombie Land. Wow, just wow. Okay, you know what? We're gonna have to risk it. We're gonna have to hope that our guys are are good at this because this is the only chance we're gonna get. Yes. Oh yeah. Good job, guys. You know what? Russell Salmon, you get you will be sung into the hearts of millions of Americans. You poss possibly might have just saved the world by that attack. Okay. Um, your selfless sacrifice with these young, with these young and brooding Americans will help save us from the ensuing storm. So yeah, then there's these guys who just, yeah, they should all die. Okay, okay. Oh good. Okay, seems like we have stopped everything that's tried to come over here. This is a good thing. This is a definite good thing. It's a good thing I sent him more army too. Like, seriously, if I did not have the army right there, we would have just been overswarmed then and there. It wouldn't even been like a contest. Just been like, all right, we're overswarmed now, and I'm going to delete all my tariffs so that we can just export as much as we can. I mean, my I should be doing okay now, so I'll start investing more. Just keep investing into all these foreign countries. I'm not going to invest personally into other foreign countries because, yeah, <laughs> I, I don't see the likelihood of surviving very often. Very like, very likely. I'm going to increase military spending by five percent. And there we go. Oh, uh, the end in the revolution! Yes! Oh, thank goodness! So broken, busted, and thrown to the sides lie the barricades and the trip. The tricolors have stopped waving from the window seals. The events that were recorded by history as the American liberal revolution of 1842 are all in the past, and it seems we have managed to weather the storm. We pray for the fallen and gain 15 prestige in the process. Yeah. Alright, so, yeah, I'm glad the revolution's over too. And apparently, guys, we are now the number one power in the world. Really? Oh, yeah, we are. <laughs> Congratulations, America. We are number one in the year 1842. And apparently there's some more battles I'm not paying attention to. Okay. Okay, seems like there's still, there still seems to be hordes coming over. I'm not exactly enjoying this. 
Um, I really hope that one of these lands right here will be like turned into Zombos land so that they'll stop coming over. Um, let's see, uh, there's North Dakota. North Dakota is right here. Yeah, I know, I know where North Dakota is, what am I saying? Get free state, a new Dakota, yay! And it looks like I'm gonna have to go right here. Just go send it on, man, just in case, yeah. The Zombos are trying to group up themselves so that they can get past my barricades, but I'm not gonna let them. We are not gonna give up on the USCA. And I feel like, why the heck is my money, like, decreasing? Maybe I have to put this on full spending. Let's see if that helps, because I'm, like, losing... Okay, now it's starting to go back up. Okay, that's kind of weird. So, and I'm also losing a little bit of money, so I'll tax tariff of people just by 1%. And there we go, back to positive money again, which is good. So, yeah, I was getting a little bit worried there for a second, because my militaristic possible brigades were going down when it was supposed to be going up. Yeah, that's kind of weird, don't you guys think? And I'm going to support the glass factory. Whatever you guys want to build a factory, build a factory, because America... Basically, is built like that. <laughs> we can build factories anywhere and Oh, shoot. Do you guys have it? Yes. The general right here has got the situation under control. I don't have to send a second army to go help him out. And, wow, yeah. This is... Wow, these guys must be seeing lots and lots of zombie on zombie action. I mean, this is... They These, these troops right here have been through a lot. They have seen the worst of the zombies apocalypse. I'm gonna have to go send these guys down here to go reinforce. Oh, whoops, wrong people. Right here, sorry. <laughs> I was reinforcing the wrong army. There we go. Go kill off these guys. And there we go. Yeah, these guys have definitely seen the worst of the zombie apocalypse. George Rice and General Salmon. Yes, Russell Salmon. These guys have seen the worst of the zombie apocalypse. They've been through it all. They've been through the dirt. They've been through the grimes. They've I mean, quite honestly, I think a zombie war would be much more terrible to deal with than an actual human war. Just because of all the, like, I don't know, stuff you'd have to deal with and the fact that, you know, these are possibly people's loved ones that you're fighting against and the fact that you could be someday fighting against your own loved one on the field, which is, as shown before in many, many zombie clips and demonstrated in human nature, when we see something that that serves as the likeness of somebody else, we have a hard time destroying it. Unless we particularly hate that person. I mean, if we love the person, we won't we won't like we won't we will treasure that thing and probably not destroy it. But if we hate the person, then we probably will destroy it. So I guess my point just became null and void. Okay, and the zombies attacked again. Yes, and we're keeping them occupied. The rest of Colombia is starting to fall. That is good. That is a good sign that my plan's about to work. Um, I should also get some of my uh, forts over here. I do have a little port right here, but I'm going to expand it just a little bit. Just so that it can uh, do stuff. And I'm going to allow elections. Because we are in the, U the American continent. And now since... I think the state of emergency is good, but we should allow elections back again. You know, to make the people less angry, we should become back our democratic selves. So people are now going to be allowed to vote again. It's kind of strange that I just realized that in this entire, like, it's almost been 10 years I did not allow anyone to vote. And nothing in our colonies requires our attention. Does that mean nothing? Really? Okay, and these are all becoming states, which is good. And Texas is already a state. That is awesome. Okay, and we got our troops right here just protecting our borders. And yep, the, zom the zombie land virus is starting to spread. In fact, it's always starting to spread across most of Europe. And it looks like most of Europe w pretty much fell in this. Doesn't look like anything was not destroyed in this. That's kind of sad. Uh, yeah, Central... Wow, almost everything. Gosh. The only thing that's safe right now is this part of America. And... Okay. And I will be right back, guys. Give me one second. Okay, guys, back. Uh, sorry about that. I had to go get some ice cream, which was... Uh, just begging to me. I mean, honestly, I really do love, like, vanilla ice cream. So, anyways, guys, we have a new state to add to our lovely union. It's right above Kansas, and it's called Nebraska. Good job, Nebraska. You guys are officially joining the union. So, anyways, guys, this, this is... I think once the zombie land closes up one of these areas right here, I think we don't have to worry about zombies ever spawning down there naturally again and we almost are there we almost got the mission to colonize we're so close like so very close you guys don't even know 
actually you guys do know because you guys just saw and Oklahoma is gonna become a state again really I thought we already made you guys a state or maybe it was called you know, no no I, I swear we did make these guys a state too along with Colorado well, maybe not maybe I'm just going crazy here Wiccans wiped out okay I'm going to do that pause I'm going to not tariff anymore uh, my administration battle is actually doing really well and I'm still keeping 50% of my education. Wow, that's pretty good. <laughs> Usually I like destroy my education and say, yeah, we don't really need our people educated. But for some reason, they're actually doing pretty good. Good job, world. And it seems like the zombie land thing is starting to just keep on spreading. This is like <coughs> funny. Mm. And it seems like the initial crisis of zombie united. <laughs> Oh, wait, what? <laughs> so, wait a minute. Are we asking to get provinces back from another nation of zombie land? <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> yes, we're going, to quite, we're going to quite negotiate with these zombies, everyone. We're going to go into a room, a diplomatic table, and say, Hey, zombies, would you guys like to please give us back this land that you guys stole from us? It'd, it'd be pretty nice. Uh, no, I'm not supporting you guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't I don't even know if the zombies would come to the table. Or if they would come to the table, I would not want to be there. <laughs> oh gosh. Alright, anyways, um Let's see. Uh we're going to start encouraging places that actually need some more stuff. Uh I think we should start encouraging capitalism now. Now that we have, you know, Exhausted a lot of our ports, and I need to start building my people up a little bit more. So, yeah, let's start encouraging capitalists a little bit more because I think New New England, I think, is doing good now, right? Yeah, let's just hide all these things. New England, yeah, New England is now doing good, so it doesn't need any more support from me. So, yeah, we can just rest our shares right there, and yeah, we could still just relax, okay? Hmm. Alright, we have a new state to add to the Union, and, hmm, look at all this colonizable land. Soon it will be mine! Alright, Oregon is now, Oregon is now officially joining the Union, so everyone welcome Oregon! Yeah! Oregon! Uh, okay, so now that they're almost done, I think we almost, call, I think we almost have all the regions that we should have about now. National tragedy, that should be a natural tragedy. And let's see, how much do we need before we can actually start colonizing? We need states and governments and breach loaded rifles. Breach loaded rifles, I don't think, come until 1850s. Oh, we'll be, oh, we'll be ready for when that comes. Like, we have everything for this to all come. And we're still trying to negotiate with the zombies, which is, I, I, I think, kind of futile. 